What is up guys, it is Zach Flochet, and in today's video, I'm going to be helping you to solve a very specific problem inside of Django. So let me first explain this. Uh, so if you're like me, and um, you might have a habit or, or a need to put a certain strange character in some piece of data inside of your code, or inside of your database, I should say. Like, uh, for example, let's look at my fixtures here and go to my projects. So in my name, um, the last E on in my last name, so Zach Ploche, uh, is typically written with a little asterisk or a, actually like a, an, a pronunciation mark. I, I don't know, like whatever is right above it, uh, like this little this little tick at the top of this E here. Uh, so this, for some reason, isn't always um, the most friendly when it comes to databases and uh, can end up with a result like this character. So uh, sometimes when you try to like export this data, you might end up with something like, let's go here, and right like this. So whenever you try to export your database, you end up with this question mark that is really, really obnoxious and it can throw you some errors. So let's actually try this just so you can see what I'm talking about. So my database already has this data in it. So I'm going to say, um, and that's a really long, uh, let's see, maybe I can close this. Um, yeah, so here I'm going to say pi manage.py dump data, put it into the file data.json. Oh, and actually, I didn't actually mean that. Let me try this, uh, if it didn't already create this here. Um, no, it, yeah, it did. All right, let me close that. All right, so let's try this again, pi manage.py. Um, dump data, I'm going to say portfolio portfolio.project, so only the project model into data.json. We'll open this up now that this is here. So it actually gave us this error here. Um, so it said, um, unable to serialize database car map codec can't encode character, whatever the hell this is, in position 81, character maps to undefined. Um, so that caused this little symbol here whenever I was trying to write it. So, yeah. So it just doesn't know what the hell that E with an apostrophe or whatever the hell it's called <laughs> uh, is with the, um, yeah, like a, whatever that symbol is above the E. And um, it just gives us this ugly error that can cause issues in our database. So to fix that, I was actually doing some research and found a Stack Overflow uh, article. So this command, um, we're going to say, uh, all you have to do is add this uh, this short line of code right in front of your, um, well, just follow me. I'm going to say Python, and then I'm going to say dash u or dash x utf8, and then say manage.py, dump data, and then do everything I did normally or I did before, but um, just with this x utf8 right there, dump data. I'm going to say name of my model. And this could be like any of your data. It doesn't have to be whatever specific model. Uh, just if you have this issue, um, you're going to want to try to do it this way. And then we can say data.json, so overwrite this file. And now this issue, as we can see, is gone because now the E's back. And um, yeah, so if you ever have any issue with special characters inside of your uh, Django database and you want to get that data into a fixture and make it more transportable, um, this one little symbol here or this little string of code or um, uh, it basically it just helps Python, I guess, export or something it into a UTF format, at least when putting it into a file. I couldn't tell you exactly what it does. I actually got it from a Stack Overflow article that I did link to indirectly in the description for this video because I already wrote it. So um, yeah, hopefully that is able to help you if you have special characters in your data and you don't want to lose your data forever and have it be really annoying. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.